600 XP just for discovering the town. Sounds good. All right, uh, let's see. Now, if I go, nope, uh, inventory, journal map is J journal. Yes, it is. Um, we go, it's active. All right, let's go do this thing first. Here for your fees, old man. Oh, you're not Please that old. don't touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling with germs. Physical hygiene. I'm going to get this money real easy with as much uh, persuasion as I have. Is next to lawfulness. No, thank you. That's quite all right. I've seen enough body parts in my line of work. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's Choice aesthetic standards. You will also report to me in the event of your death. Whereupon, I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. Ah, gravesite fees. Have fun with the Silas and worlds. I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my Thanks, pecuniary Toby. situation precludes the necessary restitutions. As broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, destitute. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. Thank you, no. I despise the cereals. Tell Silas I can't afford to pay, and that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. With my apologies. Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work, I'd proven worthy of treatment. Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings. Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers! No, that won't do. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. Much obliged. Oh, shit! Mess with me! Oopsies. Oh, fuck. Is there a, uh, is there, is there, is there a load? Is there a load? I was trying to click to get out of the dialogue. I didn't think I was going to shoot him in the fucking face, dude. Uh, this is probably it. Ah. <sighs> Classic Red Dead stuff right there. Yeah, basically, right? Well, let's try that a second time. Is there a way to lower your weapon? Can I, like, lower, lower my gun to not accidentally shoot anyone in the face? Okay, that works. All right, we're going to, we're going to do that when we're in towns. Please don't. All right, I can hit space. Blah, 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 blah. Collect your dues. You mean you're broke. Uh, very loose definition. Medical rights. Give an IOU. I'll let you know if I have anything. Okay. All right, now that our gun's holstered, no more accidental face shootings. Yes, Mr. Thompson. I'm fine, Mr. Thompson. Never been healthier. F five. Can I just steal stuff while I'm hidden?
Whoa, well, uh, did, uh, did Mr. Thompson send you? Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow, because I'm definitely not plagued. As spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. You some sort of wandering alienist? Walking into a man's own domicile, pestering him about his mental state? Silas knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. Sounds like he's already told you. You may as well hear it from me. I'm dying. I'm not long for this world. The date of my expiration is fast approaching. And soon I shall be ushered through the great cannery in the skies. It's plague. Has to be. Silas knows. He knows I got one foot in my grave, and now he wants to charge me for the other one. I'll pay your fees. I don't want any trouble from Silas. But if you could see a way to freelancing for me, I could really use the help. Oh, hey, I'm sorry. I didn't mean nothing by it. Wasn't trying to insult you. Couple hours out of your day and some light second story work. That's all. There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break in, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. I'll do what I can. I tried medicating myself with Adrena time. Didn't do much for me, as far as I can tell. Anyway, I can't just buy medicine. Distribution of medicine is strictly prohibited to any workers beneath the acceptable margin of health. Company policy. More like the company won't treat me because I'm not healthy enough. You will not find any guards within sight of that old place. Marauders, on the other hand. I have it on good authority. There's a gang of them squatting there. I advise stepping softly. Sounds like easy XP to me. So you'll do it then? You oblige me with your haste. I think I feel the plague spreading. Oh, law, it's in my... can't steal anything there I mean I'm not going for any particular kind of playthrough just whatever uh whatever floats my boat at any given time It does seem like uh, I'm getting a really nice chunk of XP through uh, the dialogue options, so that's cool. The grease monkey, Argo. I'm sorry, Mr. Thompson. So you asked for a Seems How we've got a guest. Japan was awesome. Somebody. I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. I'm Reed Thompson. Outpost Administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. Yes, so it dawns on me. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Tobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. If they have an actual name, they have a quest, just in case you're looking for XP money. 
My proposition benefits the both of us. Please, hear me out. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. The people living in the botanical labs. They're deserters, former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Mm. Good law, no, I don't want you killing anyone, least of all them. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go, and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine. Great. Is this is my I first follower. And diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Well, I am. <sighs> I feel like I know that voice Best actor. You, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. I mean, the 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 thing about uh hairpins makes me think that She's probably good at lockpicking or something. Combat support skills enhance your skills, increase carrying capacity, special companion combat skills. And the companion ledger. I think this is what it's talking about. Choose the new Lydia, best companion. Wait, Z, X. Oh, those are my abilities, my companion abilities. I didn't even know this was an elevator for, I mean, I thought that was going up to like the second floor to speak to the person. Um, how do I see character? Oh. Uh, companion ledger shows you everything you need to know about companions. Skills, stats, status effects, gear. First, select the item you want to swap out. Choose companion, blah, 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 blah. Change, let behave, preferred weapon, follow distance, and aggressiveness. Uh, she likes a gun and a impact hammer. Has mechanic overalls. Increase engineering skill. Decrease the amount of threat she generates. Threat she generates when attacking. Wait. Oh, increase the amount of threat or healthy. All right. Behavior. Stay close. Follow at a moderate distance. Follow from a distance. Uh, let's keep her medium. Primarily attack with melee weapons. We'll switch based on distance. Um, we'll only attack with range. Keep her mixed. It's told to attack a target. She will fight until combat is over. Always engages in attacks when the player enters combat. Uh, only attacks target has been told to do so. She's good with persuasion. She's good with lockpicking. And she's good with engineering. Slams down her hammer, creating a blast wave that shocks enemies and stuns auto mechanicals. Knocks the target on the ground, rendering them unconscious, or stuns the target. Damn, yeah, she does seem really good. You can give her whatever weapon you want to. When you played Neo 1, did you ever get to the orange gear stage? Yeah, you're talking about, um... I know, I know what you're talking about. I remember what they're called. Ethereal gear. But yes, I did. Uh, hey, mister, can we talk? Sorry. Sorry. I... You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just, Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters, on account of it's his job and, and what all, but that's not the only side of the tale. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. 
I knew some of them before they left. Life's hard here, especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big Spacer's Choice family, but every family's got the one the rest whisper about. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. Thanks, mister. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my dad used to say anyways. <sighs> I get up to you. Perfect, here we go. You the new worker? Whatever. Make it quick, Tenderfoot. I'm busy. Shit. Silas still on about that. Here, take the fees. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Reed I was late on my payment. Because they're not my fees and not my gravesite. Guy I worked with shot himself. I paid the bill. If you're not familiar with board law, you ought to be. Law requires delinquent gravesite fees to be paid by the deceased party's closest living relative, which meant me. Shame, though. Eugene was a good worker. Woke up one morning and put a round through his upper story. Can't imagine why. The kid was doing all right at his desk. We all thought he was an upstanding receptionist. Was it a murder? Just between the two of us, I'm pretty shocked his weapon didn't misfire. Spacer's choice handgun aren't the most reliable. Eugene wasn't family. Yeah, I was the closest living person relative to his body at time of death. I'm the one who found him, you see, so I pay the fines. That's fucked, dude. Suicide's a crime. The legal term is irreparable damage to company property. What Eugene did to himself was vandalism. I'm plenty serious. In fact, I'm a little upset Eugene didn't think things through. In other words, Edgewater would have been penalized pretty hard. Whatever Eugene was worth as an asset, we would have had to pay out of pocket to Spacer's Choice. Well, excuse you. I'll have you know Eugene was an asset to us all. May his atoms be commended to the law. All I know is Silas asked me for Eugene's gravesite fees, which means he was approved for burial, which means his papers went through, which means the town's in the clear. I'm just glad to put this whole ugly affair behind me. Eugene can rest his bones in peace, and the rest of us can get on with our own lives. Damn, so yeah, these people are quite literally just like cogs in a machine. Pretty fucked up. So what are my two abilities? C, because I have Z, X, and C. Z. Z is companion move. Hold it and they'll follow you. X tells them to attack stuff. C and V are their abilities. So if I hit X, that commands them saying like, hey, go hit this person. Gotcha. Coming. I'm going. Oh, so Z will, I can place them or I can hold it and they'll just go on follow. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I need anything. I'll skip that for now. So I'm guessing this is like Skyrim or Fallout where I should pretty much steal anything that's not laid down, not nailed down. And as long as 
nobody sees me doing it, nothing will happen. Yeah, steal everything, but don't be seen doing it. Okay, that's what I figured. I've just, I got, I've been playing so much Divinity lately, man. Divinity kills me because you'll like steal, 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 steal. And then one person will be like, I'm going to inspect you. Then it's like, well, you didn't steal from me, but you probably stole from somebody else. And it's like, fuck, man, that ain't your problem. Like, why do you care? Why does it matter to you that I stole from somebody in a different town? And how do you know these boots are stolen? How do you know that these are John's boots? You don't know that. These are my boots. But nah, man, that guy just knows. Pisses me off. I hate that shit in game. Like, it'd be one thing if, like, somebody looked at you and they're like, that's Excalibur, the legendary sword. You obviously stole that from, you know, King Arthur. But people would be like, oh, I recognize those boots. Like, no, you fucking don't. What can I do for you? Oh? Am I in the company of a fellow doctor? Go ahead. Edgewater uh, as the pl I the cup Miss Thought there was something else to get out of him because he had a little icon above his head. Uh Ludwig, hang on, let me look at my, my quest. I don't think I'm done. Quests small. Conrad Ludwig. I gotta go to Ludwig and Conrad. And then I'll do the medicine thing. Ludwig and Conrad. Sorry, Conrad didn't have anything yet. Let me go back to him and see what's happening. Like, here you go. I got, like, half the shit you wanted. Actually, no. Hang on. Let me... Let me did it get unactive? No, it's still active. Illus Abernath. There we go. He's outside. That's why. Well, I probably got to close things out with Conrad first before I can finish this quest. When I was little, we'd get freight. Thank the law. I've been requisitioning. You ever swung a truncheon? Let me see your rifling. I told Silas I'd pay my dues if he agreed to join the resistance. Guess this means he's finally heard the calling. The war. The coming apocalypse. Man versus machine. I'm talking about mechanical soldier. Cold, heartless automatons made of iron. It's more like Fallout. Lies. Not really like Borderlands at all. That's right. That's what I've been saying. We gotta square our shoulders and stand ever vigilant. Auto mechanicals. Creatures forged in the fires of malevolence. I seen them over by the old power plant. Clattering about. Firing at the birds? When the swarms of mechanicals come clanging on over that hill, where will you... I've been gathering up a war chest over the years. Saw tuna cans, mostly. Some spaces chaw. Enlistment fees. Yeah, I suppose. Wouldn't want to give the resistance a bad name. They have sent a scout. Prowling around the junkyard just behind our beloved. The scout must not be permitted to return to its base of opera. This sounds like a quest that I could knock out really fast. Just murder something. Die, robot. 
All right, let's go murder the the robot. And then I gotta figure out what to do with the uh, the other guy. Cause he said, "Where's that at?" I wish I could like see these on the map as I select them. Um, can't afford to pay his fees. Oh, worth mentioning to Silas. Okay, so let me go. Hmm. Oh, I'll go do this. I'll, I'll do this. Circle around and then go to Silas. Yeah, this game is basically like Fallout in outer space. There's a bunch of dialogue. There is a uh, a like slow time type thing. You can bullet time instead of vats. Tons of dialogue choices. You could be a murder hobo or you could. I could fix him up smart. Searching for repair bay. Error. Navigation systems failed. Unable to comply. I could probably fix that. I mean, if you wanted me to. Yep, I see the problem. His nav mod got dislodged. Must have taken a tumble. Just gotta give it a good push and wait for the click. There we go. Jeremy's good as new. Well, new by Spacer's Choice standards, anyhow. His name's Jeremy, by the by. Navigation systems operational. Optimal path toward repair bay detected. Initiating self-diagnostics. Uh, I don't reckon Jeremy understands the concept of trade. Spacer's Choice reminds all colonists that serving the Spacer's Choice family <laughs> is the highest possible reward. I have been programmed to deliver this pre-approved message. Be more careful out there, Jeremy. All right, so we'll go do Ludwig, then we'll return to other guy. Whoa, what was that? House went crazy. Staring at the, the fire, the lava rivers. It's the command to see all the different night bots. There isn't a command. You'd have to, you'd have to go to the night bot page itself and look, because there's like over a hundred or something. It would completely fill chat with stuff. So there's no, uh, just like push command. Bring us honor, soldier. You beat that scout to scrap with its own legs? Pulled its optic cables out its head? You're a passing fair soldier, I will confess. But you are one. Cantina, lavatory. On the double, soldier. Don't want. Level up. Cantina. Oh, did he mark it? Yeah, I think he, he marked it for me. Yep, little big bundle. Wonder if the plague's ever gonna. I mean, Borderlands 3 was fun. It's just I don't like watching cutscenes over and over again. So until I can skip cutscenes, I don't really have any intention of putting any more time into it. It's like I'd like to go back and play more, but, you know, got to have my priorities. You're not a big drinker, are you? Wait a minute. I saw, I thought I saw a thing, like a press. Oh, wow, really back there. <sighs> Grenade launcher? Jesus Christ. Is that really needed, dude?
Oh, this one. Wait a minute. Oh, this one's perfect condition. Yeah, so we'll use that. All right, anyway, uh, we leveled up. So let's go skills. Um, One point here to, oh no, I need 20. 20 for companion abilities. Hmm. Well, let's let's pick it up. I remember you guys were saying that companion abilities were were worth it. It's bonus to player skills, one hundred percent. Um, yeah, I'll I'll at least take this to twenty. And it's perks every two levels, so. Gotta return to Lubbock again. Can skip the long. I'm not worried. The opening cutscenes nobody gives a shit about. I'm talking about when you're playing the game in Borderlands. I, here, here. This is my problem with Borderlands. Let's say I want to play Borderlands and I want to play Flak, right? I wanted to to get my my Flak playthrough going. Well, I need to sit through the whole fucking dumbass cutscene where Lilith fights the bad guys and then Lilith gets taken down and then afterwards you need to sit on the ship and you need to, to wait for all the dialogue. It's like 15 minutes of shit that I've already seen and you are forced to go through all of it again. Ain't nobody got time for that. Bring us honor, soldier. Feast your eyes, soldier. This here is a genuine Spacer's Choice Injury Customizing Unit. Designed to deliver a lethal blast of electrical discharge. Hand I of the law. Lie. You ever want to see a mechanical flailing around like... Fun. Times. Unfortunately, the old plant lies outside. I've been after a passcode for years. Boss said no. I need you to get us the brain of a mechanical. Well... If you die horribly, I will pour out a can of zero G to your memory. Okay, so I think, oh, hang on. He, what did I get? Cause he said something about, he was like, oh, this thing shocks the enemy, but I got a grenade launcher back there. So what's, what's that about? The grenade launcher does not shock enemies. Oh, it's a mod. Okay, that makes more sense then. Let me... Bruh, move! I need to get in. Alright, um... Let's see. Impact hammer. Oh, that's the one that she's using. How do I... Is there something that lets me know that it is equipped to one person? Installed mag, magna, magazine size 50%. I guess gray. Does gray mean it's equipped on her? Charges the chambered round. Firing the round discharges electrocuting the target. I mean, I think it'd be better to put this on pistol. Than get the shotgun something different. Well, wrench means it needs to be repaired. Old as you, Gray's companion. Okay, perfect. Now it's just a shotgun. Neato. All right, and let's go uh, turn this in. It's interesting how this is detailed as a task, whereas the other things are detailed as full-on side quests. I wonder what the game's like logical definition is between a task and a side quest. So far, it seems like a task is just there's multiple people involved. Or maybe like tasks pay out better, whereas quests are more XP. Hey, Miss Parvati. Lovely to see you about, Miss Parvati. Things going all right, Silas? Been keeping him careful. Best to ask her yourself. My dad's buried here. Silas watches over him when I get... 
when I can't I the booty. Two years yo. Also tasks local areas. There we go. Side quest spreads across the whole region or large chunks of it. More XP and reward and tasks. XP and rewards and tasks sometimes weapons and uniques even. Wait, more XP and rewards for quests, whereas tax are weapons and uniques. Oh. Well, thanks. Something I can do for you? You run into any trouble? Conrad's barbershop is a yawning pit that swallows his every bit. I keep telling him he should cut a few corners. Skimp out on the disinfectant. Gotta put the squeeze on Conrad. Find some dirt on him. Maybe check his back room. Well, that's the word extortion. <laughs> I know I my tongue all day. Side quests unlock more tasks from others when applicable and offer you armor weapons and some even give you uniques. So I should prioritize, if I had to pick, I'd, I'd pretty much be better off doing a side quest versus a task. Tasks are just more like, hey, here's some even more shit you can do and you'll get some XP and money, but they're probably not as in-depth. Because, I mean, the side quests, you know, go and find this robot, whereas so far the tasks have just been like, you know, go find stuff and, uh, and do it. Has to give you XP and money, yeah, but they're still worth doing from experience so far. Troop armor. Is that good? Nine. My suit is three and plus five to tech skills. This is medium armor. And I mean, it's more armor than this, so it's probably worth using. Stealth skills, tech skills, hack. Okay. Full set of gold teeth. Are, are his teeth missing? I bet that's something. That's that's the dirt, probably. What can I do for you? You know about Eugene? How? You probably heard it from one of our local gossip mongers. Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom, representing three generations of poor dental hygiene. He took them to his grave. More than a few. Those teeth were his personal savings. I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills. Can I? Uh, are you asking rhetorically? Because if you're being serious... Ugh, gross. Desperate measures, Miss Holcomb. Desperate measures. I'm going to have to ask Silas to dig up those teeth. It's the only way I'm paying my gravesite fees. Gross. Here you are. Gravesite papers affixed with my signature and an IOU. Eugene was not a suicide. He put a bullet in his brain, yes, but that's largely a technicality. I was the one who prepared Eugene's body for interment. I discovered symptoms of the plague on his corpse, and I discovered medicine in his pocket. Lots of medicine. Eugene overdosed on Adrena time, which is known to cause psychosis and paranoia as possible side effects. The paranoia drove him to take his own life. We can all thank our lucky stars that young Eugene was hopped up on medication and suffered its predictable side effect. I included it all in my official report. I'd like to think I saved Edgewater a great deal of money. We never could have paid the fines associated with a suicide. No, your gun does not stay out. I'm just bad at putting it away. But I, I think, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure on the whole gravesite these thing. If it works how I think it does, I think it's something like you essentially have to, it's like a, like a cremation fee or something. It doesn't make sense that you'd pay every month for them. 
Then again, he said people are late on their fees, so maybe. Grave digging's a fine profession. You run into any reliable work from a freelancer. 360. Then I'll buy you a drink sometime. Uh. Abernathy was sick with the plague. What? No, I needed his fees because of his name. A for Abernathy. He was at the top <laughs> of my list. You see. Reputation of the faction has changed. If enemies are hostile, but your reputation isn't kill on sight, leaving for a few days will calm down. People of Halson have short memories. Where do I see, uh, probably character, reputation? Everything is at zero. Oh no, I'm positive of Spacer's Choice. Yes. All right, so. <clears throat> Ash of Medicine, Logic Module. I'll do Geothermal Plant later. Let's do this, maybe. 256. I think that's like the same. Oh, hang on. If I look at the map. Fast travel. I wish I could like go through my quests. That's one thing a lot of games don't have that I would love is like a button that lets me like go through quests and it's like boop, 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 just to show where shit is. The robots up there. Geothermal plant next to the robot, obviously. And then that's over there. So I should probably go over to here first. Then that, then that. Yeah, because I should save power plant for last. So let's go for the cache of medicine first. <clears throat> we'll do that. And then uh, from there, we'll make our way and do the other things. But actually, let me let me speak to the the vicar first. Uh. Oh shit! Wrong button. Just getting high. Yeah, I'm liking it so far. It's pretty fun. I like RPGs like this. Which is funny because it's weird. Like I, I really like medieval stuff. Like. You know skyrim dragon's dogma um whereas in general i wasn't as big of a fan of fallout games and this in a nutshell is definitely a fallout game uh, but i'm enjoying this so far i've always felt weird in here it's too clean Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, Vicar de Soto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison. Anything at all. Spiritual counseling? This season's tossball predictions? The quickest way out of town? But what? I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. They rejected the order of society and live beyond the walls so thoughtfully provided by our Spacer's Choice patrons. Does that strike you as a responsible life choice? Astute. But I am here, not in the deserter camp. 
So that's not a variable I can account for. Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. Not if things are left to stand as they are. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. <laughs> the marauders I met when I ventured outside the walls might agree with you. Bastards snuck up on me while I was dutifully hunting for a banned book in a collector's library. Barely escaped with my life. But you see, one of the reasons I transferred here was to get my hands on that heretical text. If you managed to acquire it for me, I'd pay quite a handsome a sum for the book. It's a handwritten journal, a faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. I don't need the details. If you're going to pay money, I'll get your book. Oh, cool. And that's like on the way so I can grab. All right. Ready to go. Let's get this book. We'll get the book. We'll get the medicine stash. And then like boom, boom, boom. This is more science fiction than Fallout. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a bigger fan of, of science fiction. I don't know, something about Fallout. I don't know if it's just the, the like, the dystopian future. I mean, this is a dystopian, but it's like a dystopia in space. But something about Fallout just always, like, it never quite hooked me, I guess. Bad dog. Don't mess with us. Yeah, I don't I don't know why. Hopefully Bethesda doesn't muck up the next Elder Scrolls game because that would be a real pity. All out of super science fiction, super mutant, goals, power armor, laser guns. Yeah, I mean, yes, it's science fiction, but it's not, it's, it's like modern science fiction. It's not, you know, we're up in space. I don't know. It's a different kind of science fiction. Might be because Fallout is more of a bleak sort of dystopia, whereas Outer Worlds is more upbeat and Wild West-like in terms of feeling. Maybe. I don't know exactly how to describe it, but I will say I'm enjoying this more than Fallout. Because I've never even gotten through New Vegas all the way. Blind and crippled. Oh, boy. That hurt. Oh, shit. Take all. Oh my god. So wait, how do I get Pravardi? Oh shit. Yo, these guys are no joke. Damn. Uh, I'm assuming if I just hit continue, it'll pull up my last load. I think, okay, so this was right before I started fighting stuff. It's post-apocalyptic 
dystopian, retro, futuristic sci-fi, whereas this is more cyberpunk. Which you've got mega corporations running a society, but it's retro, futuristic. Fallout was deco punk. This is space western. Well, I like space western. Either way, I think I'm gonna have to start combat with uh, Turn random objects shinier bright when they build. So I think the best thing to do here is gonna be to start combat by blinding every single one of the marauders. Start combat, slow time, blind, 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 and then go on in with the shotgun. Fallout has always been very gray and bleak. The colors bring more life to the game. That is for sure. Like New Vegas, at least. Every time I tried to play New Vegas, I just got fucking bored of it. Everything just has, like, everything's just brown. Browns, reds, tans. That was a very, very different second attempt there. Cover seems to be very important as well. What does that mean? Is that a lockpick thing that I need? That, that little icon? Yep, okay. Uh, so, let's see. I got a bunch of stuff there. Uh, light choice. I'm gonna break all this shit down. Assault rifle. Forget to switch that weapons. The assault rifle is for you. Always a good choice. Hunting rifle. Let's put you here. Hunting rifle sounds good. Um, 215 DPS, 173, 53, 144. But I'm assuming... This, this is heavy and it has stagger, long gun category, heavy weapons, long guns. It's probably worth keeping a handgun. Handgun and two long guns. Do I replace the shotgun? Special effect knockback, special effect stagger. Let's replace the shotgun for now. Shotguns, it's good, but meh. Um, oh wait, what does adding to junk do? I want to break this stuff down for weapon parts. I guess junk probably sells it. Is this my junk? General mag pick. Will to hack. Armor parts. Repair weapon parts. Gyro sight. I know what I'm putting that on. Junk. Um, break down. It, it was very Dynasty Warriors, but melee is ass from what I hear, so. Have to 
exit. Well, there's a mag pick. I could. I don't know if I want to waste my two mag picks on that crappy thing outside. Corporate. <laughs> Stash them away in a cave by the river. I don't know if melee is good as if you use the prismatic hammer. That sounds pretty annoying. Let's pick this guy. Ooh, a plasma cutter. Uh, I'll break it down. Oh, one hand of melee and burn. Ah, we'll break it. I'm not going to be using melee at all, really. If stuff gets close, I'll just blast it full of bullets. Uh, is that where it wants me to go? The objective? I don't see a river over there, unless this is the river. That could be the river. Uh, all right, so let's go journal. Um, let's go get this thing next. Next. 